Hello, I will present our new KVM OST with fluorating URI for our KVM system. And I will make demonstrate by this operator console with uh, two monitors. They are connected with two KVM decoders and one keyboard and mouse. Uh, and I'm using uh, OBS software, this one to uh, capture the UIs from left monitors and using a mobile camera to capture the uh, physical monitors content. Uh, and as you, as you learned previously, uh, mm -hmm. our KVM system is doesn't need additional software to uh, control the system. The controlling interface OSD is building in the uh, KVM decoders. So we can just use hotkey on keyboard to pop up the control interface and logging the uh, system. So uh, we can log in the system by physical keyboard or virtual keyboard here. So once we log in, we can see uh, the OSD here and the uh, OSD can be closed. Next time, just use the hotkey on keyboard, double click control to pop up. And uh, we can minimize or just uh, click to make full view. On the get OSD, uh, is we can uh, return to view the source contents and including the IDs, IPs. So when we need to access the source, just drag and drop, drag and drop controls. And uh, it's also able to cross monitor switching, so we can move mouse to here and get same control. So uh, from the get OS D PC one to PC five are dual output from same PCs. So sometimes we just need to assess a uh, one output from single PC, so we can long press and drop. So the right monitor will be not changed. Long press. Okay. So now uh, I will zoom in the OBS software to make more demonstration. Uh, the new features of uh, this OSD uh, is available for the 2K KVM decoders to make a multi-viewer and uh, assess and control up to four source by two by two. For example, uh, I can assess four different source on single monitors. On every windows, we can control it, control the source. Sometimes we can also just press this one. And uh, it's the two view for the monitors to assess and control two source at the same time. So uh, when we need to make collaborations, just to click push, and I can push my current monitor contents to another operator. For example, push this source to operator one. Uh, double click here, so I can share the source to his left monitor. Confirm, then the source will be pushed. And uh, if operator one share or push the source to me, uh, the source list will be show here, and uh, when I'm free to get access, I can just double click or drag and drop to my monitor. And another new features of this new uh, OSD platforms, uh, we can also control and manage video layout. Uh, double click, uh, just click here. Uh, let me pop up the mobile camera. So you can see uh, what happened on physical video walls. Uh, 
when we manage video layout, just uh, drag and drop to switch video. Also, 4x5 layout. Okay, so uh, the layout is also replaceable to set. After complete, just close it. So uh, next feature is about the uh, uh, collaborations. So when we push the source to another operators and need to make a video calls for a discussion and a better collaboration, we can click these buttons. And for example, I need to call operator one, just double click here and Uh, when he assess accept the video calls, then we can make a discussion and the audio calls windows can be minimized and put on any position. And sometimes if we need to make a grouping calls, uh, it's available to join up to 16 people to talk in same group. And if the uh, console operator need to make a uh, use the software from PCs like Skype for business or Microsoft Teams or Zoom meetings, he can click this icon. So when uh, the microphone icon is on, so he can use the like another video conference software in the PCs to make a video conference. Uh, the the audio is two-way transmission over our encoder decoder. So uh, when we log out the systems, uh, the screens can be black or if we upload uh, background pictures to uh, the OSD, so it will be look like this. And next time when we log in the system, So the uh, monitor content will be same as what we uh, logged out last time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.